Although in this video we've got a problem where the firm needs to figure out how many workers to hire, so we're going to use the hiring rule. Uh, typically, hiring rule is going to be we're going to hire workers up until the wage equals the marginal revenue product of labor. Uh, in this problem, we've got a imperfect labor market that we're hiring into, so that usually means a monopsony. So we're going to hire, in this case, up until the marginal revenue product of labor equals the marginal factor cost. So the marginal factor cost is already calculated here for us, but what, it, what that is is the additional total wage cost. So if you didn't have this, you could figure it out here. Um, going from here to here is 27, from here to here is 108. And the reason that happens is in order to get these additional workers to show up, I have to pay an additional wage. So that's the deal there. Now, marginal revenue product of labor is the price of the product times the marginal pro product of labor. So it's really like the productivity of each worker times the value of the product that they're selling. Okay, The marginal product of labor is the change in total product divided by the change in labor. We're going to use capital L usually for labor. So here are your relevant um, formulas that you can use and so we'll, we'll figure this out. We're trying to figure out the basically we're just trying to figure out where does this happen and for how many workers are we going to do. Okay so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay so I've got total physical product and now I want marginal product and then I want the just erase a little bit over here and I want marginal revenue product of labor. Essentially, how much is each worker worth? Okay, so I don't know what the marginal, I don't know really what that value is before that, but we're gonna hire that worker anyway. So from here to here, that's nine. Here to here, that's eight. Here to here is seven. Here to here is six. Here to here is five. Now I'm going to multiply to get marginal product or marginal revenue product. I'm going to multiply price times that marginal product of labor. Okay, so nine times uh, five. We're told that the price of the product is five, so that's forty-five, forty, thirty-five, thirty, and twenty-five. Okay, so now I'm going to compare this column to this column. Okay, so first worker is worth 45, and um, my marginal factor cost me 27, so I like the first, well, it's really the 11th worker. I like the 11th worker. Next one is 40 compared to 31. I like the 12th worker. 35 and 35, this is where they equal. That's where we're going to stop. And let's use this color. Uh, 39 and 30, no. No. Okay, so... Uh, the amount of labor this profit maximizing firm is going to hire is going to be 13 workers or 13 hours or however the number of workers is is uh, supplied. And then we could also, this, qu this question didn't ask it, but in case you run into that question, um, are they earning a profit or loss? So what we could do is we could multiply, we could figure that out by multiplying the price times the output if I hire that many workers. So if I hire 13 workers, I'm going to get 124 units times 5, so that's 620. Uh, and then I'm going to pay 143 in total wage costs. So this is a profitable enterprise. So 620 minus 140, oops, 143 would be 477 for profit. Uh, and then I could figure out whatever the, um, the fixed costs are to figure out my total profit. There you go.